I know it's totally against the rules, but uh, hearing those fans singing away to our left, it sort of uh, harks back to a year or, so or more ago when we had fans coming to games. That came off O'Reilly rather dangerously, and Brown is there to cover. Puts it out for the throw in to Dundalk. I think we're all looking forward to the days when we can get a full house in here and uh, in all stadiums <laughs> across all sports. I think the fans have been badly missed and uh, we're very much looking forward to them days. We sure are. Maybe towards the end of this season when enough people have been vaccinated we might be looking forward to that but not for a few months yet I should imagine. Jurkowskis with the court with the ball in and it was McMillan with the header that just flashed wide of the post great chance for Dundalk the best of the game so far coming after five minutes well, you look at the teams that are at the top and um, between St Pat's and Siger Rovers you, you could name St Pat's team every week with the with with, with the exception of maybe one or two players maybe popping in at different positions and, and that hasn't been the case here and you need to have that continuity if you're going to be uh, if you're going to be successful and challenging good ball across by Zahibo to Jurkowskis who has got past Brown's challenge, and McMillan is there, Here and it's 1-0. Well, a superb goal. Jurkowskis getting to the byline, and Dave McMillan with his second goal in the space of five days, glancing it into the corner. It's Dundalk 1, draw the United 0. Murray. Nice turn by Dara Markey. But who's looking for it? There was nobody coming to him. Had to go back to Douglas, over the top for Lions to chase. Oh. And uh, a little coming together there. Andy Boyle and Chris Lyons could have been a penalty. Yeah, I think Chris Lyons knew what he was doing there. And I've seen him given, to be fair, but you know, the referee didn't, uh, he didn't look too interested in it. Cleared away by Massey. Touched by Cleary, keeps possession for the Lily Whites. Now it's Shields. Back from Duffy. Over the top from McMillan, who made a great run. The cross shot. Han! That's it. 2-0. Great play by Dave McMillan. The score of the first goal, turning provider, and setting up Han for his first goal for the Lily Whites. It's Dundalk 2. Draw to United 0. Now Brown. Inside Leahy. Good movement by Lyons. It was a shot rather than a cross. And it's cleared away by Leahy, who uh, tumbled rather awkwardly. Lions had to go for that. Good save. Nice move, though, by Drogheda. Yeah, really good uh, movement by Lions to get in there and turn and get a shot away. It was obviously a tight angle. It was difficult, um, it, difficult to, to score from there, and Peter Cherry does well to save with his feet. Sloggett, nice ball. Picks out Leahy. Cross looks good. Came off Massey. Played down to Macmillan. Flashed over the bar. Well, he's made a goal and he scored a goal, and he nearly had a second. Yeah, he's getting chances, and that's what you want from your striker. The the big thing there was obviously the good ball into the box, but the amount of bodies that Dundalk have in, have had in the box there, and, and that's been a common theme today, where they've been getting bodies in the box, and the midfielders have been coming in, the far wide men have been coming in the opposite side. So that's a real positive. Everybody's pushed on for Drogheda United as they look for some consolation from this uh, Louth derby. And here comes Brown. And the chance here for Lions. And it's in. This game isn't over yet. 90th minute. And Chris Lyons tucks it away to keep Drogheda United in the contest and to stretch this run for Dundalk of not having a clean sheet. It's not over yet. Still there for Drogheda United, but it's uh, headed wide by Phillips, and that's the last action. Dundalk get their first league win since September when they beat Shelburne here by three goals to two. A landmark victory for the Lily Whites.